Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 22, 22nd of the March Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. And, uh, well, two things. One is that there's a weekly premium, so definitely check that out. I will post that. And also, no, no bonus coins. Anyway, uh, today's farm is 2492. Minimum score of a path between two cities. So this seems like, um, just judging by the number, uh, a I probably have done this in a contest recently-ish, maybe. So, so let's take a look. So you're given n, n, n cities, one to n. You're given 2D array roads where you have A, B, and distance. There's a bi-directional uh, road, A, B, with distance as you go to distance of I. The city's graph is not connected. The score of a path between two cities is defined by minimum distance of a road on this path. Okay, so we turn the minimum possible score of a path between 1 and n. Okay, is there a negative 1 for unconnected? No, there's only, there's at least one path. Um, this is a very weird problem for sure. I think for this one, it is just really exploring It is just really exploring what it means to get a minimum score for this problem, right? For this city thing. Um, the, the, I mean, I think by now I know the answer. Um, I don't actually remember it from the contest, but but it takes only like, you know, um, it, it's just... Mm, yeah, basically the idea is that, okay, let's say you have a shortest conventional path from what uh from node a to b right well if the if the cost is the minimum distance of a road then you can kind of keep on adding as like in a way you want to look at every road that you connected to and then choose the minimum of it because you can just go like all the way around back to a and then go to b or something it doesn't matter right or you could go to b go all the way around, and then go back to B, right? Um, you could go to B multiple times and so forth. Um, yeah, and they even tell you that. So that means that if you kind of think about it that way, those two strategies of you can, you have an infinite, um, you could have a path of almost infinite, um, uh, infinite segments, infinite roads, um, what can you? What does that mean, right? That means that you'll probably literally take every road that you can, and w when you say it like that, it just becomes um, uh, a connectivity problem, right? Um, basically, now you're trying to look at every road that you can connect it. The only thing that is that is not necessarily connected, so that that's why you know some you can't just take a min of everything in roads. But if you do a, a couple of things, and it should be fine. Either breathless search. That first search, whichever, right? Um, actually, because I think I solved this before. Uh, I'm going to, oh, no, no. I'm going to do something that I, 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 that wasn't that long ago. That was three months ago. Hmm. Still a little bit sad. But uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different today because you can also check out that video because it was only three months ago. Um, there are really only two ways that I would do it. Maybe three if you count Union Fine. But, but basically... I'm going to either do a breathless search or a deathless search. So whatever I did last time, I'm going to do the other, uh, the opposite of it, right? The other thing. So let's take a look. Uh, okay. So I did it with breathless search this time. So I'm going to do it with deathless search. Um, and the reason why you could do it with deathless search is just because it has the same logic. And really, you can probably copy. I mean, I'm going to do it recursively, but you can actually really just do it the same way. But instead of using a queue, you could use a stack and it would be really like, I don't know, like a like a ten character change or something like this, right? It'll be a very minimal change. So yeah, okay. So let's first uh, like big ends for n, and then here uh, let's can let's convert this to a adjacency list. And then now, uh, we start at 1, right? And we go to n. Right? Is that right? Okay. 
yeah okay just want to make sure so then now let's go um let's just say visit right so this is the current index current node and then we want to visit one right if node is equal to n then uh we return i suppose yeah i mean i, I think it does I don't even think I need to do that, really. But basically, we also have a, a done array of things that we've visited. Maybe we just go to visit it. Go to force times n, right? And then now, it's for v in y of node. If v is not, uh, uh, if visited v, or if not visited, we haven't visited yet, then we visit V, right? But here we also want, mm, actually it's easy to mess this up. Um, okay, so we don't visit it. So what I was gonna do, let, let me be clear. So basically like I have a minimum score, so score is equal to some infinity number, right? And then we return score afterwards. What I was gonna do is put that here, non-local score, score is equal to min of, uh oh i forgot the d part min of score v uh d right meaning that you know if we haven't visited this yet let's minimize the score and this would actually be wrong just to be clear but i'm gonna run it just to kind of see if the answer would have given to you oh i also forgot to um set visited v as you go to true or something like this right um and then we also want to set visited one is equal to true just for consistency. Actually, yeah, this v minus one say just to be consistent because I like zero index. This isn't one index, uh, and yeah, and this is minus one for that same reason. Actually, this you know, and this maybe I would submit it, but this would actually be wrong. The reason why it's wrong is because you can imagine that we. Um, you can imagine a graph that's like one. Uh, like maybe one connected to two, connected to three, and it's like a triangle, right? Um, maybe not quite that that graph. I mean, there's a way to do it, but basically, let me bring up for paintbrush very quickly. To kind of draw you a case, hang on, with my pen, okay. Um... But basically, the idea is that, you know, you have, um, it, I feel like it's very easy to make a mistake. Let's say you you parse them this way, and maybe there's also parse, you know, something like this, um, right? But what if you have some thing that goes... Um, Maybe I'm not drawing it right. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know that I can come up with a case off my head, maybe. But my 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 point here is that um, you're not looking at every edge to compare the score, right? Because you only... I mean, there is going to be a thing. Maybe I could even submit it to prove a point. But it's because that this may be returning force for later parsing, but then that means that we don't do a score here. So the thing to fix that is just to put it outside. And I think that should be good. Uh, yeah, let's give it a submit. And look, we're good. Uh, so what is the complexity here? This is going to be linear time, linear space. Keeping in mind that linear is the size of the graph, which is the number of edges. And well, this only parse every once every edge, or maybe twice if you want to count it backwards. But you know, o of n, o of one per edge. So this is going to be linear time as a result. Um, v plus y, if you want to be more precise, because I guess technically, because the graph is not connected, v is not necessarily y. Uh, you know, maybe you have only one edge or one node or something like this, or you may have many nodes and no edges or something like this. Right? N can be really big. So um, though. Uh, Maybe in theory, but I think there's, if there's only if there's at least one path, oh, I guess it could just be one and n, yeah, whatever. But yeah, so the linear time, linear space, special here, and that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know your comments. Um, 
yeah, that's all I have for this one, though. So, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.